So it's going to be like this. Basically like that. <laughs> Welcome back, episode two of the <clears throat> the drag car, top secret drag car. I don't know. Check it out. Let's see what I got going on. I dragged my frame table up with my pickup mm, right there. This was way out back in the weeds, literally like six foot tall weeds growing through it, growing through it. So if you guys didn't know, I have this frame table. I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace, 200 bucks. How can you beat that? 16 feet long. It's got four casters, and it also has these, these uh, stabilizing pads that are adjustable so you can level off the table. I use this, I use this table when I built the 3031 two-door sedan, uh, which is I think the last project I really did on the channel, minus a little bit of videos on the 34. So those ones aren't gonna work with the parts that I have. So I'm gonna use what I have on the floor. There's a 33 to 36 axle and 33 to 34 wishbone, I believe, that was split. Grab that front spring out of my shipping container. I got a bunch of them that I picked from. I grabbed that one because I believe it will work with the span. What you can see here, looks like it'll be about right. I have no clue at this point what I'm going to need for leaps, so I'm going to leave it a full spring pack for now until the motor and everything is in the chassis, on the chassis. When that time comes, I'll fine-tune the front spring. I got a couple sets of Model A. I found a couple sets of NOS Model A size. They're not Model A uh, shackles, but I got two sets that are coming. Found those on eBay. A couple of shock mounts. I'm uh, just grabbing parts that I have laying around. I threw the shifter and everything on here. The shifter is honestly kind of junky. So I don't know that I'm going to end up using that shifter. But I went and got all grade 8 bolts for the bell housing to the box and the bell housing to the back of the motor. What else did I order? My, he my header flanges, which I told you guys the other day, on uh, my boxing plates. I also talked to Pat Mason this morning. I shot him an email yesterday. If you guys have never dealt with Pat, he's a great guy. Uh, Pat is the owner of Mason Racing Ignitions. He's down in Pennsylvania and he is custom building me a tack drive magneto for the Oldsmobile. So I shipped him out my dri drive gear because he said he didn't have any on the shelf. It's going to be a Ronco magneto with the tack drive so I can run a mechanical tack. Uh, but I'm going to end up having to find like a mini torque starter. That's what I'll probably end up buying one of them at some point soon. It's just, I don't know, whatever else I need for the motor to make sure that everything goes uh, as planned and the build can hopefully just continually progress smooth and I won't have any major pauses, except for life reasons. So this is the Model A frame I'm going to use. It said to you the other day, yesterday, that chassis is just sitting there. I've got two or three chassis I'm willing to sell. So there's anybody local in New England. I've got two or three halfway decent Model A chassis that I'm willing to let go of. I need to keep this one. And I think two more, but I think I still have two other ones I'm willing to sell. So this is the front cross member that I'm gonna end up using. This actually came off of my 34. So essentially this is gonna go right there. So my spring is right where the factory spring is on a stock Model A to keep it the same wheelbase. I wanna have the same wheelbase, but I wanna raise that front spring up. So we'll see what happens with the rake and everything with the wheels and tires. And once everything's kind of set in place, that's gonna be a pretty drastic drop. And then also with the dropped axle, it may end up being too low on the front. So we'll see. So worst case, if I have to, I'll use that drop because that's just what I'm gonna use because I have it. I don't wanna spend money on anything. I have a, I don't want to say it's a complete front end for a Model A because there's no spring on it, but I got the axle, really nice wishbones, perches and everything. Obviously I wouldn't use the drums or the brakes or any of that stuff, so that would go. But as far as the axle goes, I may end up using that axle, we'll see. And then I think I have a couple other ones as well. I want to make sure that the car is going to be sitting the way I want it to sit. It looks back in the day when they used that style, like slingshot front end, they were able to get away with 
just using a stock Model A axle because there's already a drop with that style um, spring mount. All right, everybody. The next project, because it's starting to rain out and I had my frame table and the frame and everything outside. And I was going to roll the 34 coupe out, but I'm going to hold off because it's starting to rain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down this steering wheel. Instead of buying a steering wheel for the car and really not knowing what I need, I'm probably jumping the gun on this, but I really like the look. So in a photo that I showed you guys on last week's video of that gray Model A Roadster, if you zoom in and really start studying the photo, you can see that they had some type of like a champion style steering wheel that they cut and they made it into like the, like, you know, like just these two bars here and then a little bit of meat there. They cut this off. So I'm going to recreate that steering wheel. I don't know if this is the right like diameter and size of steering wheel, but a buddy of mine gave me this. I brought it to a bunch of different swap meets. No one's ever purchased it from me. So I'm not into it for anything. It doesn't owe me anything. So I'm going to cut it up. So here we go. All right, so there's that. So the next thing I have, to, so I got the bottom, oop, stuff coming out of it. I'm going to have fun on this build. This isn't something that's got to be perfect. And I'm kind of excited about that. All right, so the next thing I need to do is cut off this bottom piece here. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to cut these, tri these pieces out real quick. Get that or use a cut off. Definitely got quite a bit of flex to it. I think it'll be all right though. We can always add some steel to the bottom of this right here and kind of build it up to give it a little bit of extra strength. But I'm happy with that. Just gotta cut off this center section here. So probably just cut that off with a uh, cut off wheel real quick because it's kind of difficult to get in here because these wings here are hitting the body of the SAR itself and then maybe see if I can fill in these with some like I don't know black RTV or something all right let me grab a cut off wheel real quick and I'll get this zipped off and uh, just get it cleaned up but I think that'll look good kind of looks like a dragster wheel and again, it's similar to what was in the video, the photo, except it wasn't black. I think it was like an off-white or a cream or something. So as of right now, that's my steering wheel for my dragster, for my drag car. So what they would have done back in the day like i said it's it's a little flimsy but i mean it shouldn't really matter right should be okay i will have to figure out you know the attachment it's got this collar just two bolts on it right now but that third one does exist it does line up with the hole that's on there so if i need to it can be put on an early ford key shaft which it's probably what I'm going to end up using, something like that. I think I have a few of them. And it's going to obviously be like cowl steering, like a dragster is. So. That's it. So it's going to be like this. Basically like that. <laughs> All right. Frame table's in. I'm going to fill that tomorrow. A 49-year-old back and my teenage brain don't always work well together. You, most of you guys probably know the feeling, right? So now
Let's see. Got a lot of cleaning to do. I should probably sandblast this frame. This frame's actually it's got a lot of different color paints on it, but it's actually pretty nice. Not a lot of pitting. That's what I want. It's gonna get put in its place. So what I want to make sure is the hole for the set the spring is going to be in the same exact place, place as the original. So that means my spring will be in the right place, which means my axle will be in the right place. So it's going to be a little bit of finagling that needs to be done on this cross member. So I'm going to make sure that I have all the right steel that I'm going to need. I'll be able to get the rear end on the, on the table pressure. Oh.